dear members of the uh, province of uh, the Philippines, dear confreres, I would like to join um, in this wonderful occasion when the province is opening the uh, so-called Vincentian Media Center. It is a wonderful project, a wonderful initiative as an instrument to reach, to reach out to the people, to the people around the world, to share the gospel, to share our own spirituality and charism, to encourage others to, to follow Jesus, to follow in the steps of St. Vincent de Paul, the mystic of charity. It is to reach to, to the poor. It is to, to open doors for the people in need. It is to encourage the youth in their, in their path of reflection, of discernment of their own future. It's to encourage and develop the culture of vocations, the pastoral of vocations. I join with, with deep joy on this occasion and may this be always the instrument for the good for the glory of God, for the people to bring them at the end to the kingdom. May God bless all, all your undertakings. And I would like to give you this blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, Vincent and family. Welcome to the Vincent Connects Media Center. Today, on the solemnity of St. Vincent de Paul, we are gathered to inaugurate and bless the Vincent Connect, Vincent Connect Media Center. Earlier, we heard uh, our Father General, Father Thomas Maverick, give us some words of thanks and welcome. And now we proceed for some words of thanks to Father Nelson Bisco, CM. Good morning to everyone. And uh, first of all, we would like to thank our loving God for helping us make this dream a reality. In a special way, we also would like to thank our Superior General of the Congregation of the Mission, Father Thomas Mabrick, for showing his support to this project by sending us his welcome message and his greetings to all of us. A special thanks goes to Father Greg Banyaga, the one beside me, the Provincial Visitor of the Congregation of the Mission, Philippine Province, for gracing our occasion. He himself solicited from his friends to show his wholehearted, wholehearted support of, to this project. Thank you also to my Central House community and to all my brothers and uh, brother priests and brothers for extending your support. Thankful as well to architect Mao and Miss Ange Antonio for doing the design of our Vincentian Media Center and of our powder room free of charge. Thank you to Tito Bon and Tita Aloy Jimenez for helping me in the solicitation and to Sir Tim Jimenez and Sir Brian and his team for their setting up of our equipment. I am very grateful as well to all our stakeholders, our mission partners, our generous friends, our donors who share their resources to us in spite of them struggling in this time of pandemic. Without you and without your financial support, this project will not come into realization. 
at sa lahat-lahat na nagbigay ng kanilang suporta, time, talent, treasure, and prayers, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Forever, our congregation will be grateful to all of you for your kindness and generosity. God bless you hundredfold. Thank you, Father Nelson. We now proceed to the rite of blessing by the Provincial Visitor of the Philippine Province, Father Gregorio Banyaga, CM. Before we proceed with the rite of blessing, let me just say a few words. Uh, there is no better time to bless and inaugurate this uh, media center than today during this time of pandemic. Uh, this media center will be used to uh, propagate the word of God so we can use it for evangelization purposes. We can use it also to, to uh, spread the message of the congregation and attract uh, new vocations to the congregation. We can use it also to rally help for the poor uh, in the spirit of St. Vincent. We can uh, get uh, people to donate so that uh, we can uh, extend our assistance to the poor who are waiting for us. We can also use this uh, in order to, to showcase uh, different talent of people. And uh, this, is, uh, this center will be open to the Vincentian family and to other people who would like to use it. Of course, uh, with the permission of uh, the director of this center, Father Nelson Bisco. And uh, I also would like to thank uh, Father Nelson and uh, Father John Ira. Uh, they are the ones who actually spearheaded this uh, project. And uh, the others, uh, our funders, uh, those who donated in a special way so that this project would become a reality. Thank you to all of you. And may this center really be a center to promote the word of God, to evangelize, especially the poor. Thank you. Then of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We gather to get today with great joy as we bless and inaugurate this Vincentian Media Center for the purpose of evangelizing, promoting vocations, and the Vincentian charism. God unfailingly enlightens our minds to open up new and better means of sharing with each other all kinds of information, ideas, and aspirations. This Vincentian Media Center will be of great service to the human family, not only to bring help in times of need, but also as resources for education and entertainment, and even for spreading and building up the kingdom of God. Let us pray. O God, you cause us to rejoice in your great goodness by sending your only begotten Son as the herald of salvation. May you continually pour the Holy Spirit of truth in our heart so that we may always seek your truth in all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. But later, as the eleven were at table, Jesus appeared to them and said, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will drive out demons. They will speak in new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while, while the Lord worked with them 
and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Proper use of the available communication, communications media contributes greatly to the progress of the human family. It is also in complete accord with the plan of God, who wants us all to be bound closely together in a, in a union of truth and freedom. Let every tongue then proclaim God's wonder, saying, How wonderful are your works, O Lord! Blessed are you, O Lord, eternal wisdom, who enlightens our minds and support our endeavors by your blessing. How wonderful are, are your, your works, works O Lord. Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord, who move us to continue to seek the things that are unseen through those that are seen. How, How wonderful, wonderful are, are your, your works, works, O Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord, who never cease to reveal the secrets of your power to those who search for you. How wonderful, How wonderful are, are your works, works, O Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord, who urge those who search the mysteries of nature to discover you and to praise you as the author of nature. How wonderful, How wonderful are, are your works, works O Lord. Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord, who chose to reunite in Christ your children whom sin had driven apart and to make them one family throughout the world. How, How wonderful, wonderful are, are your, your works, works, O Lord. Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord, who wish the gospel of the kingdom to be preached to all peoples, so that all might know you, the only true God, and, wh and whom you have sent, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. How, How wonderful, wonderful are your works, your works O Lord. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, we humbly praise you, for you enlighten and in inspire those by probing the powers implanted in creation, develop the work of your hands in wonderful ways. Look with favor on your servants who use the technology discovered by long research. Enable them to communicate truth, to foster love, to uphold justice and right, and to provide enjoyment. Let them promote and support that peace between peoples which Christ the Lord brought from heaven for he lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now invite the provincial to for the ribbon cutting together with the superior of the house, Father Agustin Advin Colasien.
May God, the creator of all things, who never ceases to work his wonders among us, enlighten our minds so that we may know him more deeply and strive always to spread his truth and his peace. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our blessing is ended.